Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to read a caliper and take precise measurements reading the metric scale. On a previous video I've done, I went into detail and in explaining how to read the vernier scale on the standard or inches uh, set of this caliper. Now, in this video, we're going to focus on the metric side. This caliper will give you readings in two units. Metric millimeters or inches. Inches I've already covered in a separate video. Today we're going to look at and we're going to concentrate, we're going to focus on millimeters. If you see on the top side of the scale we have uh, the markings, the units are millimeters going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40 and going down the line. And this particular Virginia scale will read to a precision of 0 0.02 of a millimeter so that's two hundredths of a millimeter and the way it does that is but let's give an example let's take one measurement again as I said the zero on your veneer scale is your pointer that is when you're taking a, a reading when you're taking a measurement the zero is what's giving you your reading that's your pointer. That's what's pointing to the to the dimensions of what it is you're measuring. For example, this we're going to take a measurement on this, and this is showing this is showing uh, ten millimeters, eleven millimeters. But the pointer, the zero, is past the eleventh millimeter. And now, but how far into that twelfth millimeter? are we? Is it 11.2, uh, 3, 4? That's when we get into the veneer scale. The point of the veneer scale is to take the smallest division on this scale here and blows it up and zooms it out into this size. The veneer scale is the equivalent of zooming in way into the millimeter. Zooming in and this is what you would see the veneer scale in this case takes that one millimeter and further divides it into ten equal parts. So you would start and then each one of those ten equal parts further divides it into five equal parts. So on the vernier scale the smallest division, these little tick marks, are the level of precision you get. Each one of the tick marks in the vernier scale is 0 0.02 of a millimeter or two hundredths of a millimeter. In this case, this would be 0 0.02 millimeter, 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0 0.08, 0 0.1 millimeter. This right here, this is 0 0.1 millimeter. This is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, etc. Until you get to 1 millimeter. So, going back to here, we, at our reading, we're looking at 11 whole millimeters. And now we want to find out how far into the 12 millimeter we are. You start at your pointer, and you start looking, sweeping to the right on the veneer scale, looking for the tick marks on the veneer scale to line up to the tick marks on the scale over here. When you start in the beginning, you see how the tick marks are offset, and the farther you sweep to the right, the more lined up they get. You get to a place where they line up, and if you keep going past it, they start getting offset again. So, the place where the tick marks on the veneer scale line up to your scale that's where your reading is so, you're, so far we're looking at 11 point I would say 11.3 millimeters 11 point and we could possibly say 11.32 so we're looking at 11.32 millimeters that's our reading let's take another Example. Let's see what this is. Again, the zero in your vernier scale is your pointer. So we're looking at 20 millimeters. 21, 22, 23, 24 whole millimeters. So that's 24 point something. Now we get into the tenths of a millimeter. So this is 24 point 
and you start on your zero and you start sweeping to the right onto your tick, tick marks lineup. And look at that, I would call that 24.5 millimeters, so 24 and a half millimeters. And if it was just a little more to the right, right about there, we can call that 20, 24.52 millimeters. There you go. And that's how you read the vernier scale on the metric side or the millimeter side of a caliber. Again, you have whole millimeters here. And on the veneer scale, you have the veneer scale again. Takes the smallest division of the scale and blows it up to this size, to that big. Basically zooming that one millimeter, zooming it out to that size. And in this case, the veneer scale divides that millimeter into 10 equal parts. And each one of those 10 equal parts divides that into five equal parts meaning 0 0.02 of a millimeter. Five of those tick marks give you one tenth of a millimeter. Or 50 of those uh, tick marks will give you a full uh, millimeter. That's how you get very precise measurements using the vernier scale. I, I hope I'm driving that point home enough to say that the vernier scale, regardless of what unit it, it is, the veneer scale takes your smallest division on the scale and blows it up to give you a more precise reading between the smallest scale, the smallest uh, tick marks. I hope that uh, I hope that made sense. See you guys next time.